Thank you, Fred. It's cooking time. I love this part of the couch. I love this lady. Grace oh. Mayolo is with us again. And the book is out, The Butcher Who Bakes. How have you been? Great, thanks, Cliff. That's it's great good. to be here. Thank you. We're going to talk more about your book. I'm going to show some pictures, but we need to get straight into this. That looks like a very tasty fowl. What are you going to do with it? It's a, not quite an old boiler like me, <laughs> but it's a lovely whole chicken, which I'm going to portion, Cliff. Uh, just thought that maybe a lot of uh, customers will have a look at a chicken and think, oh my God, what am I going to do with that? Mm. But just show them the economical way of uh, preparing a portion chicken uh, that's going to be a lot cheaper to do yourself rather than buying it at all portions. Okay, so, so if, you, if you grab the knife, I, I want to ask you, yes. how come it's cheaper for you to do it rather than to buy the pieces? Because you're buying each individual, like the breast, which I'll show you very shortly, you've got your wing portions, the breasts are the most expensive part, mm -hmm. which normally you're selling around $12, $13 a kilo. If you're buying a whole chicken like this, you're, pro you're paying around about $7 a kilo, big difference. That is So too. if you portion it at all, now I'll just give you a quick idea. Now this is this is oh. a very, very quick and easy oh. way. Just do a little bit of an incisions on the back. And what we do here, we're just going to cut off the wings. And the most important thing is, a Cliff, is knowing exactly where the joins are uh -huh. of the chicken. So, um, of course, I've had a lot of experience doing this. But for those who don't, if you look, look very carefully, and then I'll just let you know what each portion is. We turn this one around. This is what we call the thighs and the what either Maryland or the drumstick pieces. You have done so this we before, have, yes, you? This is the drumsticks. Very, very easy. Well, it looks very, very easy, and I'm sure you could do this yourself. Then we just gently break oh! the backbone. Oh. <laughs> okay, and there we've got the thighs. So we're going. There's a little join in here, and by oh. just just by bending each side. Who taught Cliff? you love? Was it Hannibal <laughs> Lecter? <laughs> Good Lord. Just like this. And trim any little bit of excess um, bits of fat. Well, a lot of these we, we're just going to throw away, but any of the nicer bits we can actually use for soup. So then we're going to, if you want a boneless one, we're going to leave one thigh ho hole on the bone. But if you do want it like, you, you wonder how you're going to get the, the boneless thigh pieces. So we just remove this little backbone there, which mm. gives you the little boneless thighs. Removing the inter, inter piece of this um, bone, just like that. Okay. Right. So you've got yourself a boneless thigh and you either have skin on or skin off. Now what, so that's do, what, what, do you, what do you prefer? Because some people think the chicken skin is, is almost the devil incarnate. That's where all the fat and the horror are. Well, I, I pull the skin off chicken these days. I love, I love to boil this mm. and actually crispy it up, which oh. is very, very nice. But if you're boiling it, you're removing a lot of the excess fat. Uh -huh. uh, so that's not, a, that's not a problem there. But uh, we call this value adding, where you just add a lot of different, you know, uh, different cuts. See, all these little bits here are fantastic for soup. Yep. So ideal to make a nice big soup. Uh, stock hot and uh, I used to create these gorgeous little little monsters that I used to call the swan so what happens here I just pull this back like this trim any excess fat like that leave the skin on literally flatten this little piece out here oh crumb I know where it. you're going okay crumb it and then when you're serving it this is going to sit up nicely just like that and you've got yourself a beautiful little swan oh. now that will sit like that. So that's what we call our swan. That's very nice. Yeah, I've so never seen that quite, before. Yeah, there you go. So you, there's a lot of things you probably haven't seen done with a chicken. Now this is the most val valuable part and the most popular part of the chicken. Ah, this is the, the breast. breast. Now, if you've got yourself a great sharp knife, Craig, this is the most... I mean, Cliff it is, isn't it? Sorry. Only just. Get, yeah. <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about that, Grace. It's okay. Important it's that you just keep your sharp knife as close to the bone as possible. And this will give you that breast fillet. Oh my this goodness. is where the breast fillet is. Now so that, that's I'm getting my get fingers in. out of your road. Now that's an interesting point that you raise about the knives because yes. you have got to have a good set good of knives. Set of don't knives. You? So that's a breast fillet. So that's what you'll see in the store. This little bit here is a tenderloin which you can separate and use that for crumbing. Absolutely perfect. This you can put a little pocket in it and make a lovely cordon bleu. Oh that's lovely. Or, so these are all the beautiful portions that you can use from from one whole chicken. So you're looking at it and you think, goodness, so a whole chicken like this will cost you around $12. The breast alone in most stores will probably cost you $12 on yeah, their own. Yeah, they're expensive. So you're getting all this. And this is what we call the frame or the carcass, which is perfect for soup. Make a lovely stock. If you're not going to use it in this weather, pop it in the freezer and you can use that at a later stage too. Some people use the neck. So, some people cook the neck. I yes, mean, I love the neck. Do you? I think, yes, I do. I what think do you that do makes with that? It, you, well, you, again, you just add, the, add it to the soup. 
which is absolutely beautiful. So there you are. There you've got a beautiful so portion. You've one, got the breast. Two, three. You've got. We'll remove the um, the tenderloins so that. This well, that's is a the piece best on part. its own, isn't that's it? That's a little piece on its own. So they've got two tenderloins, we've got two beautiful breasts. Now with these you can actually slice again mm -hmm. and you can make a Kiev or you can slice it for schnitzels. There's so many things that you can do. You've got a boneless, you can have the thigh on or off, but that's a boneless um, thigh fillet. I've made you a nice little swan and the wings. Now this is so exciting because I'd like to show you because this is what I prepared earlier on. Oh, God. But, yes, <laughs> this is what we're making, a little, little drumettes. See, a wing like this, you think, what am I going to do with a dull, boring wing? So then we're going to make these nice little, what I call the little um, Grace's little tender treats. Now, this is a little bit slippery. Uh, do I know? I hate horror, horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's that. So we remove this little bone here. Again, there's not much on it. If you've got a dog, the dog would like that. So we're doing these beautiful little drumettes, which we're going to marinate. Ah, yes, I've and seen those, yes. this is what yes. you've seen. And they're fantastic for entertaining. So we've got these beautiful little wings. Again, next time I'll teach you how to do these. So you do that, and away it goes. Then the next one, the same too. So we've got to make sure that this little bone here pops its way through. Sometimes they come out quite easily, some kinds of So you're difficult. using every, every bit of it little by bit the time you take yes. that and make stock. And this is soup. stock as well, so you don't. nothing is wasted. Fantastic. Oh, yum. So if you'd like to go into the oven... Is I've there just, one they're prepared Yes, already earlier. prepared. So these Here's are what they're called, earlier. the beautiful... Oh, look at this. Chicken... Oh, drumming. yum. Don't let Fred see are. these. So... There we are. So these here I've marinated in a lovely honey soy and just done them in the fry pan and they're fantastic little entertaining um, pieces. Very so nice. So they're ideal. So just to give you a little bit of presentation, I'll just remove my... Um, now just while you're doing that, yeah. we just want to pick up a shot of the book. Uh, yeah. Grace's book is The Butcher Who Bakes and there's lots of things. Now, I mean, we went through that pretty quickly there, Grace, but if somebody wanted to learn that... Yes. Um, I don't suppose it's going to take forever. It's not really what Definitely you call not. Ro rocket no. surgery, but, but um, there is an act to it, I guess. Have you got details here uh, on how to do... I've got it. Yes, I, I do. I have one of the semi-boneless chicken, just step by step on how to um, prepare and bone out a chicken by leaving the legs and the wings on. So what we're going to do, just to show you a very, very quick presentation, I just sort of uh, did some little rosettes of uh, carrots prior to this. And when I'm entertaining at home, what I do, it's just a beautiful little little masterpiece like this. And then I, I present all these beautiful little wings like oh, this. Oh, yum. You know, and everyone keeps coming back for more, Cliff. It's a If a I nick great... one of those, would you notice? Uh, no, I wouldn't, you and I'd really wouldn't. like you to. And I'd like it. Score me on one to ten. I'd like to see what you oh. really think about it. Oh. And they are superb. Have They're a winner. A stick. When I entertain um, Cliff, this is uh, like everyone say, are you going to do those little wing things? Mm. You know, those tiny little wing things? Very nice. It's well, while you're doing exciting. that, I'll just say yes. a big thank you again to Chicken Treat, fresh and local. And you're going to be coming back again uh, in the next week or two on the couch. Incidentally, yes. if, you've, if, you've, uh, if you've missed the segment today or haven't seen it right from the start, go to the website, thecouch.com.au. It's going to be up there very, very soon. And just oh, to yum. finish it off, a couple of little sesame seeds. And wow. Oh. And if you want to be, even be that a little bit fancier, a little bit of greenery just to set it off, to look as though you've gone to a lot of trouble when you really haven't. And you've got yourself an amazing little entertaining little treat here for all your guests. Yum. So if you were coming to my place for dinner, this is what I'd be serving as an entree. Oh, I like that a lot. Bless. Kiss me right here. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Grace's book is out now. You can get it from Dimmicks. You can also get it online, which is cookingwithgrace.com.au. We're going to get stuck into these. Thank you, Fred.